Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Farming with Family. Feel free to like and subscribe, and let's get started for the day. Hey there, welcome to another day of Farming with Family. Today we're gonna be doing some, uh, get some oats out of the granary, putting it on our semi here, up on top of it. First I got a, I put this new rain cap on. It got twisted a little bit, so I just gotta readjust it and get it so it can actually go up and down again. So we'll get working on that, then we'll work on getting the semi started. Got that fixed, so it'll flap like it's supposed to. So we'll see if we can get this thing going. Haven't had it running since end of November. So we'll see what happens. It's been plugged in overnight, so hopefully the motor's nice and warm. All right, turn the battery. Still switch on. Hey, that was a lot better than I thought it would be. Glad the block here works good. Pressure's building. Gotta wait for these two gauges to get about 60. That's our air pressure. Batteries are charging good. I checked the oil last night, that was fine. Fuel's good. We'll kick, kick up the RPMs a little bit so it idles a little bit faster. the semi kind of lined up where I want it. That's the grain we were going to be hauling out of. And last I hauled those oats in here, so just checking to make sure the birds didn't build nests and that sort of thing, or snow didn't drift up in there. So everything looks good, just getting it all lined up. Uh, once we get the grain back here, we'll get that set up and then put the semi where it needs to go so we can dump it straight into here. Well, we're getting the granary ready for uh, get the grain back in here and start sucking out some oats. Uh, Sarah and my wife had a request that we clean out our kids' corn bin. We uh, put about a foot of corn in one of our old granaries and then they can play in here, kind of like a sandbox. But we had a pretty good storm that blew some water in and it has a little bit of mold. And then next to it up here, there's oats in the next granary over and the birds and stuff get in here and they have got some oats over into here, which is very itchy. So the kids don't like to play in it and get all itchy. So we're gonna suck out, there's about a foot to half foot of corn in here. We're gonna suck that out and that can be fed to the to the cows. They'll enjoy that. And then they have their, their toys that they play in, kind of like you would with a sandbox. And they're even spoiled. They have a hammock they get a swing in when they're playing in here. So we'll get this clean out at the same time and get it fed to the cows. So I needed something to put the corn we're gonna take out of that little corn pit. So I got my gravity wagon here. These have been around for quite a while. They're pretty slick, they just have a slanted bottom. You fill it up, then it all just runs out. There's a little spout over here, it runs out and you don't have to have a auger or nothing to get it out of there or a tilt or nothing. Got it hooked up to my old Suburban that I use for my farm vehicle. So once we're done with the oats, we'll get it loaded into here. So we had some sort of a wad go through that plugged it up. We just had to shut it off, release the pressure, and then start it up again. And as 
And you see it starts it out pretty quick. We have about 1,500 bushels we're gonna put in the semi. So we'll finish out this part of the granary and do the next. This bin's all cleaned out. Made a very quick work of it, a lot less labor than doing a lot of shoveling. And then we got the corn pit cleaned out. A little bit of moldy stuff on the bottom, but otherwise pretty clean. We'll get this cleaned out and we'll patch the roof up there wherever the water is leaking at. And then we can put a little more corn in here so the kids can play some more. But now we're gonna take the hoses back to my neighbors just down the road. And then uh, he wants some help getting a little bit of corn out of his bins that he needs a little help with. So it's kind of a two-man job, just someone to watch the semi, someone to keep the spout in the corn, and it just makes it go a lot easier. So we'll check in over there. All right, we got the front part of the semi fairly full. We'll back up and heap a little bit more on here. Oats has such a light test weight. So we can heat this whole thing and you still won't be overweight. So we'll keep working our way back. It's in the back part right now, but we'll we'll keep moving it. We'll come back here and fill in this little gap here and stuff. So we're just sucking out of the bin. So far it's working pretty good. Alright, we got the semi all full. It was easier than I thought. Had to move to the other bin just to finish the filling it up. But this should weigh right around 75, 78,000 pounds, at least when I took the last two loads in. So we'll get this all tarped up and then we will head over to Hoven, about nine miles away. So we'll take it over there, get it unloaded. And that'll be done with that. About to take off for Hoven, it's about nine miles away. So it doesn't take too long to get there. We'll see if I can get this camera set up and give you a little tour of on the drive there. Got the horse trailer hooked or backed up. I'm gonna unhook it here where I had it before. Nothing fancy as you can see, but use it to take in the two steers that we took in to have butchered that we're selling to people. So I'll get this unhooked and then get the pickup put away. For some reason, unhooking is always easier than hooking up. Finishing up for the night, gonna get the gravity box put away. Doesn't have a top on it, so just in case a snowstorm or a little rain came through, we don't want to get this thing wet.
this week's episode of Will It Pull It. Got a Yamaha Grizzly 450 with the partly filled gravity wagon. Gonna try to back it into that barn right there. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. What do you know, it only took about seven, eight tries, but got it back where it needs to be. So if it rains or snows, it's covered. Then I can pull it out, grind the feet out of there for the cows whenever I need it. I call that a win. There's always one troublemaker. Doesn't know when it's time to quit. Okay, let's go in. See how long this takes. Alright, there's not just one troublemaker, there's two. Come on. As you can see, it's dark out. It's a good time to quit for the night. Got a nice basket of eggs from the chickens, so they earned their keep for one more day. Tomorrow, we're gonna to be going to my cousin's. We're gonna be working on his loft some more for his storage area, uh, get some more done on that. And then we're also gonna be going to a bull sale, Hilltop Angus Farm. Uh, they're up by Bowdle. They raise black Angus cattle, so we're gonna go take a look around there. They get a, or they host a free lunch for everyone that comes. So a lot of people from the community come, even if they're not buying a bull, just to show a little support for them. So we'll see, maybe we can find the owner and ask him what he what he does and a little bit about his operation. So we'll show you all about that. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. 